Students, welcome to the 2025 challenge. The goal of this math challenge is to use the digits in 2025. That's a two, zero, two, and five. Exactly one time each, along with any math symbols or operations that you choose to create expressions worth between one and 10. Let me show you what I mean by that. I've used the digits in 2025. That's two, zero, two, and five. I did switch up the order and I added some math symbols. If you're not sure where this little star or sometimes a dot is, that's another way of showing multiplication. Uh, you'll get into that more in sixth grade. Now our order of operations, what does that mean? Uh, order of operations means the order that we're going to do these operations in. It starts with P for parentheses. These are parentheses around my two plus two. So that's where I have to start. Two plus two is four. I'm gonna copy down the multiplication sign and the zero plus five, because I haven't used those yet. The E stands for exponents. I don't have any exponents. We'll get into those a little bit in our video, but I do have some multiplication. I have multiplying right here, four times zero. Well, what's four times zero? Four times zero is zero. And so you'll see my last step, zero plus five. That's how I'm gonna use the four digits in any order of my choice to get five. How could we get a different number? Well, here's how we might get seven. This isn't the only way, this is just one way. Did I use all the digits? Two, zero, two, five. Yep, I used all the digits I needed to use. There weren't any parentheses or exponents in this one, but there was some multiplication or division. Again, it's two times zero. Two times zero is zero. I'll bring down the five plus two and my minus sign because I haven't used those yet. Well, what do I do next? There's adding and subtracting here, five plus two and a minus zero. Well, when both operations show up at once, you simply go from the left to the right. That's why I drew that arrow there. So I'm gonna go with five plus two first to get seven. And what's seven minus zero? It's seven. So I used all four digits and the operations of my choice to get seven. There are many possibilities on how to get each one of these numbers. Another way that you might be able to form the numbers is by combining digits together. Notice we solved five before. Here's a new way we can make five using the digits in 20, 25, right? I used all four of them, but I combined the two and the five to make 25. I combined the other two and the zero to make 20. Well, what do we get when we take 20 away from 25? We get five. Now, does the order of operations actually matter? Or is it just something us math teachers do to torture you? No, of course it matters. It makes a difference. If we look at these expressions down at the bottom, they all use the same digits, 2, 2, oh, 5, 2, 2, oh, 5. But notice this one has parentheses around it. That's going to make a difference. Since parentheses is our first step in the order of operations, if I do that step first, 2 plus 2, I get 4. And I brought down the time 0 plus 5. What comes next? Well, I don't have any exponents. So multiplication or division would come next. So here's my multiplication. What's four times zero? It's zero. And you can tell zero plus five is gonna give us a result of five at the end. Again, I'm going to get a different answer on the right, even though I use the same numbers and the same operations, simply because the parentheses make a difference. Since this doesn't have parentheses in it, and it doesn't have exponents in it, I'm gonna start with the multiplication in the middle. What's two times zero? It's zero. I copy down all the other numbers or symbols I didn't use yet, and all I have is adding. So when I add those up, I'm gonna wind up with seven. Is seven the same as five? Of course it's not. So your parentheses indicate where you're gonna start, and they do make a difference. One last thing that we might need to learn about is exponents. Sixth graders know a lot about exponents, fifth graders are learning, and they're probably new to most fourth graders. Exponents are these tiny little numbers up in the corner that tell you how many times to repeat your number as a factor. What do I mean by that? Well, because I have a little two up here in the corner, that means I'm gonna take 10 and I'm gonna write it as a factor twice. I'm gonna write 10 times 10, and we know that's worth 100. What if it was 10 to the third power? Well, again, that three indicates how many times we're gonna write that number as a factor. So that means 10 once times 10 twice times 10 a third time, and that's worth 1,000. Well, fifth graders, one thing that you'll learn later in sixth grade is that you can use exponents with numbers other than 10. You can attach an exponent to any number. For example, if I did two to the second power, that means two once times two a second time. Two times two is four. Five to the second power, that means I'm gonna write five twice as a factor. Five times five 
or 25. What about 2 to the 5th power? Well, that would mean I'm going to write 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times in a long multiplication chain, and that would be worth 32. And there's one weird rule about exponents. That are probably, it's probably new to 6th graders, and that is the power of 0. You can actually write any number with a 0 for an exponent, and you're going to get an answer of 1. What's 2 to the 0 power? 1. How about 5 to the power of 0? 1. How about any of these combinations you might do in our challenge? 1. So if you're looking for a way to make a 1 during our competition, you might want to use that 0 as an exponent. You don't have to, but it is a possibility for you. Here's quick examples about exponents, then you can get started with the challenge. Uh, I used 2, 0, 2, 5, all the numbers I need to use, but this time I used an exponent. There weren't any parentheses, but my exponent, this means 2 times another 2, and that's worth 4. When I bring down the other values I didn't use yet, what am I going to get? Well, I'm going to get 9 as a solution. Now I'm going to use that power of 0 for our final example. Are there parentheses? There sure are. I'm going to do 5 minus 2 to get 3, then I'll multiply by 2 to the power of 0. Well, exponents actually comes before my multiplication. Remember, anything to the power of 0 is worth 1. So I'm actually going to wind up with an expression that says 3 times 1, which is worth 3. Again, you don't have to use exponents, but if you want to get into some advanced mathematics, those might be helpful for you. So good luck. When you're finished and you think you have formed these values, check your work carefully, show your teacher your answers, and if you have all 10 correct, your teacher is going to give you further instructions. Good luck and have fun with the 2025 challenge.